It's you guys. It's you guys who made this sign. You said nations it counts. That's what you did. Of course, people say it's a glorified friendly and selfish, but no, no, no. You changed the rules. You changed the rules so this counts ish, and it should also count towards the freaking Ballon d'Or. And I think what we have is a great final or a potentially great final. Um, ideally, in an ideal world, I would have loved it to be France, Italy. I'd love it to be because France are the team who should have won the Euros. It's the team who won the Euros. So I'd have loved it to be that, but still, Spain look good. Spain look very good, and I think we have been given a newfound respect for your boy Luis Enrique. I think people need to say, you know what, Luis Enrique deserves just a little bit, bit more respect, man. So I'm hyped for this game, you know, because obviously I missed the Spain Italy game because I had to go somewhere, but it was really a great back and forth between those guys, man. And um, because I, I, I saw the highlights, and then I saw the and then the France Belgium game was superb. Well, it was superb. And I think it's a point that a Red Devil Studio made is that the way they are playing it. Um. So now here's my thing because this is because I'm just because I like to look at this from like an interesting tactical point of view because where Spain are concerned with regards to Luis Enrique and so forth, that they're going to control possession. So my thing is, what do they now do with the possession and how are they now able to break down France and break them down? But I expect Luis Enrique's side to control the board and I expect Busquets, Gavi and so forth to really be able to have at least 60, 60 to 65% possession. I think France will very happily give them possession. And, I, and here's the thing that's that Spain have to be very wary because they are playing a team who don't really want to have possession. So I think for Spain, what's not going to be key is, just as you saw with them against Italy, that's final ball. That's key pass. That's penetrative pass. Because I think it was Oyar Thabal who put the amazing cross into Ferran Torres for the first goal. So if they're able to pick out that pass and just find that little gap, which is, which is what's made Iniesta. Because the thing about this is that, I suppose it's your culture and so forth, but it's this tactic of holding on to possession and sort of just wearing down the position psychologically, mentally, and then finding that that key pass was perfect for the Golden Age Spain team. Because Javi, Iniesta, Javi, Iniesta, David Silva, Fabregas, Gas, you had four guys who were pass specialists. Not great passers, pass specialists. Gavi is the kid is 17 years old. So maybe he has the potential to be that. But, you know, it's it's a very difficult tactic to, to play because trust me, to try and find that key pass on this high level is very difficult, man. So, it's going to be interesting to see how many, how much space Spain find against France and how many opportunities they can give to a Torres. They can give to any of their runners and so forth, or a table and so forth, and if they're going to be able to find them. Where France are concerned, this is almost a perfect game for France because... France are a very, they don't, France remind me of the 3 piece Real Madrid team. They don't actually have a pattern. Spain have a very distinct way of playing. France have no personality. France just get it done. So basically, France are good merchants. So Deschamps has always been a dude of where, I'll give it the platform to be compact and tight, but Griezmann, Benzema, um, Pogba, Mbappe, Figure it out. Because Deschamps is old school. So because Deschamps is old school, he comes with the mindset of, I know how good these individuals are. I don't have to overcoach them. I don't have to micromanage them because I have to, I'm going to give them a level of freedom for them to interpret the game the way I interpreted the game when I played. When he, he, he led those guys to walk in, in, in 98. So why this plays into France's hands is when France get the ball, they're going to get moving. You see... Germany were always a bad matchup for Spain because Germany was a team that needed to get into a bit of a passing rhythm to now try and say what's up and Spain don't allow you to get into a passing rhythm. How you always beat this Spain tactic is you move the ball forward and you, and you attack them quick, quickly. Because the quicker you, are, you, are, you attack them, the harder it is for them to now get back into a defensive position because what they want to do is win the ball back, win the ball back early Maintain possession, way down, way down, way down. When they lose the ball, win it back early, control possession, way down, way down, way down. 
But for France, they know that once we get the ball, we just give it to our ISOs. So, give, so, so their ISOs, Benzema, Griezmann, Pogba, Mbappe, make something happen. So now, for where Spain are concerned, and for Luis Enrique, it's not going to be interesting to, to see how you're not going to... How high are you going to push the line? How high are you going to press? How many men are you going to commit forward? And by you committing men forward, you now leave the danger of if you now lose the ball in a bad position and Pogba makes a great pass to either Griezmann or Mbappe, you're screwed. <laughs> you're in serious trouble. So France are just a team where once they switch on, I don't know how you beat them because they've got too many weapons. And it's like, because you saw it against Belgium, you saw it against them, um, Argentina and the World Cup. When they're down and their backs against the wall and they just switch on, bro, it's like they just they just get it on. They're just like boom, 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 boom. Because they don't rely on a pattern. Because see, if if you could ask Luis Enrique, what's the best thing to do as a manager to settle for the opposition is give me a pattern. Because if I have a pattern of playing a personality, then I can tell my team that, or I remember, they tend to do this. They tend to do this. Once they're done, they tend to do this. But if your position doesn't have a personality or pattern of play, then it's like, <laughs> how do I prepare for that? You just have to interpret because there is nothing to prepare for. So, for so for where, so where Spain are concerned, if you're France down, Dijon, they know that we know what they're about. They keep hold of the ball. So, what Dijon will tell the guys is concentration. Concentration. You know, concentration. Maintain your shape and and make it very difficult for them to find the pass. Because for Spain, and Spain don't have ISO guys. A guy's going to come and just sort of like dribble past. No, they don't have those guys. They are very good. They move the ball around very, very well. And it's very difficult to get the ball off of them. So the danger is for France to now get agitated, force themselves out. And that's what, well, that's what Spain wants want you to do because it's a psychological warfare. They want you to get frust frustrated. And what they want, just like chess, they want a piece just to come out through that space. Boom! Oh, we may make that run. Ferran Torres may make that run. Boom! We hit you. Because so they want you to come out and make that space. So it's going to be in a very interesting tactical battle. Now, I've and this was what I said in the hangout. I feel France can only beat themselves. France on their day, they can't be beaten. They cannot be beat. Beat. On their day, they can't, this team cannot be beaten. If everybody is playing to their highest level and they maintain concentration, which they didn't maintain against Switzerland, then that's how they can get beat. So, if France show up, they beat Spain. But it's a final. Um, many people would have thought, easily they would have beaten Spain. And here's the thing. Now, please, ref, what up? Ref, what up? I need, I need 11 of 11. I need, it, I, I, I need 11 of 11. Please... I need 11 v 11. I, I need that. I need that. Please, please, please. Because this, this game could pop off. It's a great game. Football fans will love this. So please, please, please. To provide us with the best form of entertainment. Please keep it 11 v 11 for as much as, as possible, man. So, um, you have to respect the final. So because it's a final, something tells me that it could go it could go almost to penalties i feel 1-1 one, one after 90 minutes i feel 1-1 one, one after 90 minutes i'm going to say 2-1 two, 2-1 two, 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 to france after extra time now obviously i'm not sure whether they play extra time in this because i mean maybe i don't know whether it's 90 minutes so basically if it's one, if if there's no extra time, then um, I'll edge France to win this one penalties. But if there is extra time, one one after ninety minutes, and I'm going to say France take it two one an extra time. You know, I mean, if Spain win, that'll be it would be a huge dub. Because before if Spain win this, remember Spain don't have Ansu Fati. So if Spain can get this dub um, without freaking Ansu Fati, bro, that is a great precursor for the World Cup. Because remember, they got to the semis at the Euros, lost, completely dominated Italy for 120 minutes. Unluckily, they lost in they lost via penalties. They played Italy again, although Bonucci got himself sent off stupidly, beat Italy. So they beat the guys that beat them, beat the European champions. So if they now beat the world champions, 
Oh, and Spain will not say shit. If we now come into this whole new thing with Anzafati, oh, bro, we're looking different right now. So we'll see what happens, man. But I'm going to say 2 1 France after Echo Time. Guys, remember, I will be on Twitch. I will be on Twitch for the watch along at kickoff. So join me on Twitch for the watch along um, of this beautiful game. And also, you know, also join me on Twitch for many late night QA streams. Peace out. Stay true. One love and stay black.